guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to Premier League Predictions. Yes, it's returning for the second season running. Um, you know how it works, I'll try and predict all 10 Premier League games. See, see how close I can actually get to the real score. So guys, with VAR involved as well, there's going to be a lot of talking points across this season. So guys, anyway, without any further ado, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game I'll kick off with is the Friday night game. It's Liverpool versus Norwich. Norwich ain't done a too bad a window. I do think they could have done better with their budget. Um, Liverpool, on the other hand, have done an amazing window, but I still think they ain't done enough to win the Premier League, which if you see my... Uh, prediction table while I put City on the top. There's a lot more information in that with these teams regarding what I've just basically said a bit of, but there's a lot more in that prediction table, so go check it out. Um, but as far as the result goes, I'm going to go for a 3-1 Liverpool win. The next one is West Ham versus Manchester City. West Ham, I think they're going to be a fortress to go to this season. Um, I really do think that with the signings they've made, with the set, with the people I got rid of, um, I still think it's going to be a really hard place to go. But I don't think Man City are going to find it hard whatsoever, which is why I'm going to go for a 4 0 Manchester City win. The next one is AFC Bournemouth versus Sheffield United. Um, Bournemouth ain't had a bad window. I don't think they've had a bad pre-season. Sheffield United, on the other hand, coming up and as I said, see my prediction table. You will have seen where I'll put them. Um, but for this one, I'm going to go for my first draw of the season, and I'm going to go for a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Burnley versus Southampton. Um, Burnley. I think they've weakened a lot during this window. I think they sold players and really ain't got the developments back in. Whereas Southampton, I'm expecting a lot more of them this season. But for this one, I'm going to call it my second draw of the season already. And I'm going to go for a nil-nil scoreline for that one. My next one is Crystal Palace versus Everton. Now Palace losing Aaron in the right back position. Not recovered, as far as I'm concerned. I don't think they have actually done enough for, um, let's say, you know, cover it. Um, Will Fritter Haas not going to be happy he didn't get a move. Um, how much he tried to force that move out, it didn't go ahead. So, you know, Palace, I think they're going to be up in the air this season. Um, I really do think that. With Palace, if you've seen my prediction table yet again, so I'll keep uh, saying about it, you will have seen why I put them down there. Um, it sure gives you the rough idea where I put them. Um, but as far as the game goes, I'm going to go for an Everton win, and I'm going to go for a 3-1 Everton win. My next one is Watford versus Brighton over Albion. Watford ain't had a bad window. Brighton, under new management, um, you know, look very solid. I saw a lot of them pre-season. I've seen a few of the other clubs as well um, during the pre-season. Um, but, you know, with the disappointment of last year for Brighton losing 2-0 to Watford away, I'm going to reverse that result and I'm going to go with a 2-0 Brighton win. My next one is Tottenham versus Aston Villa. Villa coming up and basically buying all his players. Um, have they, did they see something out for them that, you know, where they ain't going to go back down like Fulham did? I mean, spending over £100 million to come back into the Premier League, I think that's a big gap. I think that's a big gamble as well. Um, you know, your, your players ain't got time to bond like they do when you play Championship, come up to the Premier League and you play, you know... Um, but Tottenham Main had a bad window. They got stuck in a window for the first time in 18 months. Fair play to Tottenham for keeping that, you know, really big gap, not getting in the window. And, you know, playing with the players they had, fair play to you, Tottenham. But as far as the result goes, I'm going to go with a Tottenham win. And I'm going to go with a 
2-1 Tottenham win. My next one is Leicester versus Wolverhampton. Leicester, you know, with the start of the season, these results are hard to predict from minute one. Um, although it's hoping it would get easier throughout, you know, throughout the season, but, you know, we learn a lot more about them. I'm um, going up against Wolverhampton. Wolverhampton, I don't think they've strengthened enough. Um, you know, fair play to Wolves for qualifying for Europe. Um, but your team's got to get used to playing Thursday, Sunday, Thursday, Sunday, Thursday, Sunday, Thursday, Sunday. And it don't really work like that, unfortunately. Um, so... With this one, I'm going to call it a Leicester. Actually, I'm going to go for a draw. Um, and I'm going to go for a one-all scoreline. But we'll uh, definitely use Wolves fans. I, I need you to look at my prediction table to see where I'm coming from. Um, the next one is Newcastle versus Arsenal. Newcastle ain't happy with Rafa Benitez uh, basically been sacked. He refused the new contract. He said he wanted 10, uh, 20 grand more, and they refused him, so he left. Steve Bruce is coming, um, and, you know, they're not too happy about that. Um, Arsenal, um, you know, spending, I think it's over 100 million in the window, where they said they only had a budget of 40 million. Um, so, you know, with all this stuff going on, I'm going to stick up for the London side for this one, and I'm going to stick up for a 3-0 Arsenal win. I'm expecting a lot of you, Arsenal. Um, my last one for this weekend, and you know, the most game I'm looking forward to as a, just a neutral fan's point of view is Manchester United versus Chelsea. Man United, I don't think they strengthened enough in the window either. But it's going to be an interesting season for them. And also, you've got Frank Lampard in the Chelsea dugout. First time ever, congratulations on your um, you know, your job, Frank. You've done an amazing job at Derby. Just hope you could do it at Chelsea with your transfer band. But as far as this one goes, I'm going to go for a 2-1 Chelsea win. Um, quick update, my EFL Cup editions will be uploaded on Sunday. And then you should see a slight pattern appear, and then the pattern will slightly change because there's no cup game, uh, cup games the weekend after. Uh, weekend after, I mean in the big week. So, but guys, anyway, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.